Okay guys, this is what we're going to be making on Chef Shea Bear playlist today. We're going to be making stuffed peppers. Let's do it together. Alright guys, we've got our peppers here. Now, I was going to show you how I make my stuffing with the ground beef to stuff these with but unfortunately I filmed it but I didn't hit record on the camera but I'll, well, I'll get we'll, we'll get to that in a minute I'm just gonna cut these open I don't have a paring knife so I'm just using this I guess it's a steak knife and it's not going real well, but bear with me. We're just regular people here. I'm going to take a spoon. And I'm just going to get right in there. And cut it like that. This one happens to be growing a baby. Now you can use the green onion or the green peppers if you want. You know, this one was growing one inside. I've actually had almost a full grown one inside one before. But anyway, some people like to leave their seeds in. So if you get, I have the, the oven preheating to 350. It just got up to temperature. That's what the beeping noise was. But so if you get a few seeds down in there, don't be alarmed, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Unless you really, really hate the seeds. But see, these aren't hot peppers, so they're really not gonna be, it's not gonna make it hot or anything like that. It's just kinda like carving out a pumpkin. Just get, get what you can out of there. I'm sure there's easier ways of doing this, but I've just always done it this way. Alright, so not too bad. A couple seeds down in there, but there they are. Well, anyway, there they are. Okay, pretty, pretty clean, pretty clean inside there. Now, I'm going to do that to all these other ones, and then I'll get back with you and we're going to stuff them. Okay, I've got these all cleaned out now. I'm going to put them in this pan. Because I don't have a glass baking dish that these will work in. I'm just going to use my hands to stuff these. You can do it however you want. But I'm going to put them in here. Okay. So what I've done for my mixture is I've took hamburger. I took uh, half a cup of cheese. Shredded cheese. I used the Mexican style. I used a half of a medium onion. And I've used two eggs. Uh, a pack of saltine crackers. This is to two pounds of burger. A half a saltine, a half a pack of saltine, or a pack of saltine crackers for a binding agent, and then my seasoning. Now I've also put um, some V8 juice in here, and I also put some Worcestershire sauce in there. So if you if you use that and your your hamburger goes from red to brown, don't worry about it. It's fine. It didn't go bad in five minutes. Okay. Now we're going to take these and stuff these. But you can stuff them with whatever you want. A lot of people will add rice, and I was going to, but I don't care much for rice. Now, Monkey loves rice, but she said, you know, it's up to you. She said it didn't matter to her either way. So I kind of skipped on the rice. And we're just going to put these in here the best we can. Okay. Now I'm going to have a lot of this meat left over and that's a good thing because I'm going to make a small meatloaf as well out of this stuff so you won't be seeing that it's just throwing it in a pan but I'm going to make a small meatloaf with the leftovers that we can have uh, later on this week Okay.
So um, Sunday night, I made. What was it? I made. Uh, oh yeah, Sunday night we made chicken or chick. We made uh, steaks. And yesterday I made hot wings. So today we're having these stuffed peppers. I uh, just kind of like that. So that's, oh yeah, that fits very nice. Now, a lot of people will make, uh, will use uh, just regular tomato juice. Some people even use a stock, a chicken stock, a beef stock, or, or something like that. But I, I like, um, I like some V8 juice. It's just original. You can use spicy, you can use tomato juice, you can use whatever you want. It's your creation. I'm just going to dump this over top of here. I've got it on this pan just in case something spills over. Alright. Now I'm going to put a little more on that. I may add more as it cooks. If it starts uh, dwindling down, I may add some more. So I used a half a can in my mixture, my incorporation over here, my stuffing. Uh, speaking of which, and I used about a can and a half of here, and I may. And I may use some, some more, but a lot of people, speaking of which, will take, like, say, make homemade stuffing or stove stovetop stuffing, which I have used on these and stuffed them with, and they are absolutely fabulous. Very, very delicious. And we're going to put these in the oven. I'm going to put them in for 30 minutes, and then I'm going to check them. Now, when these are just about done, when they got about five minutes left, now you want the internal temperature at least 165 on that meat, okay? Because you want your meat done thoroughly. You want it cooked clear through. So, I'm going to cook them, cook them uncovered at 350 degrees for 30 minutes, and I'll check the internal temperature. When I got about five minutes or so left, a lot of people don't do this, but I like to put a little uh, more cheese on top of it. So let's get these in the oven and we'll set the timer for 30 minutes and we'll check them. Got 125. A little longer. Coming along nicely. So this makes two cans all together. Now we're going to put them back in for another 20 minutes. One sixty-three, so that's close enough. I'm getting my alarm, so that's good. So now, 
And we're going to sprinkle some cheese on top of that. And we're just going to keep an eye on it just till the cheese is melted nicely. You can put as little or as much as you want on there or none at all. Back in she goes. We're going to keep an eye on it. And as soon as that melts a little bit, we're going to set it up here on the stove top and let it rest. Wow, that looks good and smells delicious. We've got our stuffed peppers. They seem to be pretty good. We're going to let them rest for about, about 10 to 15 minutes. So that way it can finish cooking. It can, uh, so the, the meat will stay together when you cut them open. Okay guys. Since my taste tester is not home from work yet, I'm going to give this a shot. Let's try it. Superb. Turned out wonderful. So, quick and easy, guys. I mean, I'm going to say about 53 minutes altogether. But keep checking it and, you know... Make sure that, that they're not drying out too much or getting too done too quick. Uh, I mean, the uh, ovens are, are, are kind of like microwaves. They vary. Once you get to know your oven, you'll know about how long it takes. But I've had these in there for about 53 minutes. So, uh, the three minutes was to melt the cheese. But, uh, you know, it may vary. Cooking times may vary in different parts of the country, different, you know, different stoves. But uh, all in all, very good recipe, um, very tasty. Hmm. Very good. Listen, I want to thank you guys for joining me and helping me make this dish for Monkey. I'm sure she's going to enjoy it very much, as well as I will. I'm sorry you're not here to uh, eat one of these with us, but maybe next time. Alright guys, listen, this is Chef Shea Bear. I'm going to say see you guys later for now and take care. Bye bye guys.